I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just these categories. This is a really great exercise if you ever want to play in a tournament where they pre-select categories and the first player to win a hand in those categories will win a prize. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two, so we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28, and we're going to force hands in these categories. We have a pair of flowers, news single wins. Red and white dragon with a pair of reds. In cracks we have one, four, five, eight. In bams we have two, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Pair two, pung four. In dots we have one, four, six, nine with a pair of ones. If these were your tiles, which of these categories would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play the 2468 pair hand and then news concealed. I spotted something else we could do. News with ones. That is like numbers, but it's in the Wind and Dragon category. So we could leverage these multiples. And then maybe use this as joker bait or play news concealed and use these. I'd want to minimize the amount of joker bait though with the fours and dragons if we play news with ones. If you want to know more about that strategy, look in the video description below. That is a strategy coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. So here we have a potential 2468 pair hand. All suits represented. We have a pair of twos. We need a single eight in there, or a single six in there, and then an eight. Here we need pairs of twos with either dots or cracks, eight in here. So yeah, there's work to be done there, but there's a foundation. So I think that's what I would do here. So singles and pairs and wins and dragons. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write force one, and what you would do with these tiles. We have a couple of jokers, three flowers, northeast, white and red dragon. In cracks, we have four, six, seven, eight, nine, pair of sixes. In dots, we have two, five, nine, pair five. In bams, we have two, four, five, six, eight, nine, 
pair five and pair eight. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would force a year hand and a quint, and it's going to be rough, but I think that's the best use of these tiles. This is how I would do it. It's very bleak. So we have jokers to help with the quint. We could either do a wind with maybe sixes or eights and the dragons, like maybe the red dragon for a quint, or we could do six, seven, eight, eight, if we can get eight dots, or three, four, five, five, which is a bit stronger three crack, four crack pairs, but this is really, really weak. But we have a lot of multiples we can try to leverage. And then for the year hand, probably some variation of flowers with year tiles. And there is a hand with dragons, so I would just keep all those. I would start by discarding these and just gather and follow the trend but force a quint and a year hand. It's very weak. This would be tough, but we have no threes. We have no ones. And we only have one seven. So I wouldn't do three, six, nine or odds. So I feel like we're kind of forced to play a quint with maybe a year hand. If you would do something differently, write it in the comment section below. This is force two. One, three, five, seven, nine, and three, six, nine. All the wins have to go. That is going to be really painful. One thing we could do is maybe hold those for joker bait if our opponent is in wins. So I would hold those. And then I would pull odds on one, three, six, nine on the other. The challenge is... Three, six, nine, and odds go together. Well, they share tiles, so this is going to be a challenge. If you're playing in a special event and they have categories like this together, three, six, nine, and one, three, five, try to force them separately if you can. Same with two, four, six, eight, and a year hand. So here, look at all these tiles that we have here. Let's see how we could do this. Um, three, six, nine, seven, seven, five, seven, five, seven, nine, and then three, six, nine, dragon. Maybe we could use these up here because there is, there are a couple of mixed suit odd hands. This is super bleak. Let's see, we could do joker bait, joker bait, discards. So I guess that's not too bad. I mean, it is bad, but it's doable. We have nine discards with joker bait. The key is knowing whether or not your opponent is going to be playing wins, and you should know 
in the first couple rounds of discards. If they're throwing wins, these are not gonna be good. But if they don't throw wins, hold these as long as possible. And then discard those. Hoard odds in three, six, nine, and just make it work. Three, six, nine, and odds. I know, it's bleak. If you ever have an opportunity to play in a tournament or another special event where they pre-select categories and give away prizes, practice with Siamese Force. If you need a set at home, look for a link in the video description below for one I highly recommend. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.